Hi everyone, Mick Beard here, back with another deck guide for you. We're back on the monsters, and I have been playing a lot of Gurnicora lately. I actually got pro rank with Gurnicora. Thanks, Gurney. And I want to talk about this list that I've been playing with over the last couple of days, and this is kind of where I'm at. Um, at least for the gameplay you're going to see, I have one more change that I'll talk about just at the end of the guide. I originally wanted to call it Organicora because I was running Wispus Tribute at one point while running Lacerate, Predatory Dive, and Spores. Uh, but I felt like, I mean, it was really great being able to have that answer and be able to find that answer. And you can see sometimes, especially in the gameplay, that it is frustrating when you can't get that answer. So being able to get that, I felt like it was pretty good because I was losing the thinning by not actually running Wild Hunt Riders, which is pretty crazy. But this actually started off conceptually as an anti-dominance denying deck. I think as I play with it, I think that Riders are correct. But I haven't been running Riders for the last couple of days because I felt that uh, having a tutor would help me kind of get there a little bit more. Plus running Nagelfar uh, allows me to get through my deck and kind of position good cards on top because a lot of the good cards in this deck are actually the bronzes. You know, you got the ghouls, you have the cyclops, the griffin. You want to see all these cards early on in the game. Draw your golds a little bit later, but especially predatory dive. Now this is the, this is really kind of the crowning piece of this deck. It's really a meta call because people just don't ever play around this card. And with Gurnacora, not only are you playing Foglet, but you're also playing Gurnacora's Fruit, which is always the first target for Predatory Dive. So generally, you only trade up when you play this card. You generally don't want to play it on a small unit, but since we're running cards like Bruxa and maybe some variations would run two Bruxas and only one Necker Warrior, I like the Thrives. But we have Bruxa, we have Wyvern, we have Cyclops as well, we have Lacerate as well to clean up small cards if we need to, as well as doing damage with the Crones, which I have introduced back into this deck. Originally, I was running a whole different setup at eight. But the Crones are quite good. The Crones are removal. The Crones are dominance enablers, and as well, Caldwell stealing abilities. Bruis can counter all sorts of things with, uh, with her consume, and it's pretty hard just to not live without, you know, my favorite ladies. Well, the game plan is pretty simple. You have a number of ways to destroy two-point units, which is important considering there are a lot of Dwarven Agitators out there, a lot of Twist Arc Skirmishers. You have a lot of Thrive as well so you want to obviously proc that as much as possible so we're playing units with big bodies you want to play griffin early eat the fruit then you want to play foglet try to kill that with cyclops or if your opponent has damaged the foglet perhaps just catch it with a predatory dive because a lot of times people want to reduce the removal potential of cyclops so you know it's in their best interest to be hitting the griffin and uh, hitting the foglet as well so sometimes you can make predatory dive catch it the lacerate you don't have to run but i felt like i was getting a lot of value in long rounds with this card but um, but originally, I was also running Wispus, uh, the Wispus Tutor, so I was able to access it a little bit easier and fin it out of my deck in round one and get it more easy. So I have actually removed Lacerate and added Riders back up to a different list, but I think the Lacerate is a fine choice because you have Count Caldwell on this list, but it's actually more about this card. This is a card that I feel like is such an important Gurnacora and Monsters card because you're usually running Caldwell, but you're also running Griffin. So you're playing this at 10 and you're cycling a card. It is fantastic. It gives you the value of Caldwell without the risk. And all you have to do is, I mean, it's, it's drawing you a card. It's a great card. And I think that it is priced it is priced just enough that makes it a real head scratcher to get this in sometimes, especially when you're talking about Gurnacora, who is basically paying for this card herself. 100% funded by Gurnacora. But I actually like this list. I think it works really well. It has a lot of great combos and a lot of pressure potential. Check out the gameplay. We are on YouTube. So, of course, if you like the video, there's lots of ways to show me and tell me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. My folk have suffered much. All right, my friends. Let's get into the right view here. Doing well, doing well. Hopefully doing very well. We added the crones back here. Um, the ghoul can come back later. Double wyvern. We're up against Francesca. It's pretty good. We kill all the dwarves. We actually have triple dwarf kill. It's kind of like pretty intense. Cyclops for the foglet. Perhaps you've lived in isolation for too bloody long? Oh, no. You haven't lived in isolation at all. Well, I'll just thin my foglet, I guess. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Unless it's no unit Francesca. Will I lose to that? I don't have predatory dive, but I will have predatory dive. Like, Francesca needs the point somehow, right? So I just kill it with predatory dive, right?
I have like a pretty cool shelf. Marcus made me feel self conscious because he has such a cool room behind him. All right, so this is no unit. So what is like? I just need to understand what the win con is. I get like all the stuff that no unit can do. I just play my Brux. I guess play my bad cards then. I guess right. I guess that's a crushing. When Contra be last say predatory? I mean, if there's only one unit, then yes. Now we're on red coin, so we should. It's hard though. How do we get last say? That's the thing. I don't know how round one works here. If this is an early, if if this deck passes early, then I think we would just, then we would get the last say, because then we just go for it, right? I, I'm I'm not really entirely sure how this deck destroys everything on my board, so I'd have to learn. I'd have to learn and understand. Okay, so a unit is happening here. And I don't have the fuck... Uh, this is annoying for me, right? Because I don't have the predatory dive right now. The predatory dive wins me this round right here, right now. Urgh, I hate having two really good answers to this right now in my deck. I can't believe that. Two. I have two of them. Oh, it's melee only, but it's fine. Whatever. Regis has to hit something, right? So all my cards still thrive anyway. So. As long as I can do it without going down two cards, right? Unfortunately, none of it is. None, none of these plays are enough. But if he wants to bleed. Regis is not a good card, because Regis, I have to hit something, right? So, I really would like Weavis so I could eat Caldwell. As long as I can kill... It's a synthesis. I can play Caldwell. I might be drawing a ghoul, so I need to play the griffin, right? But Regis is not going to be very good. So another ghoul would be not very good. The Cyclops, if there's going to be nothing to hit, then having two Cyclops is kind of pointless. There's the other ghoul, but at least it's a card, I guess. I can play it. So the proactive play here, he has a solution for werewolf, right? He has a solution for the alpha werewolf, some sort of thing that hits immune things. Surely he does, right? 
It should be one of my ghouls. Because only one of my ghouls is truly very good. I don't even have the five in the graveyard, so. What's up, Dragon's Queen? How you doing? I'm at EMA, Speedy97. How are you, Varnation? We'll play this because we're probably not damaging anything, so. Well, I want to play my Thrive units, right? He's playing Crushing Trap, and we know that, so let's not make Crushing Trap better. But I also don't want to make weather better early. This is only going to hit us for eight. Erica's Venom? Okay, another one. Damage Crone? Cyclops. Boosty Crone. It is done. Oh, let's just treasure this moment, guys. Good one to start off on, let me tell you. Pride is all we've left. You're never gonna get them in round one, but what is this? Actual mulligans I wanna take? What? Thanks, David Rodriguez Jr. If you ever wanna know, CD Project Red listens, right? You can tell that they listen because I asked for a predatory dive and I got it. Okay. One deny. Oh, you already had purple. Oh, it says 24 months. Yeah, these dwarves aren't going to stick for me, are they? No, that one's not going to stick either. I 
I asked for it. I might as well use them. We just got him on evens. Seven cards. You guys are the best. All right. Uh, we didn't get to thin this. So that is a risk. Mm, I do like that card for this round. I don't know. This hand seems pretty damn good. Seems like it's really, really fucking good, right? Because I'm thinking I want to use Weavis to eat one of these griffins. I'm pretty sure I'm doing that. Uh, we would like to kill that. We don't have Cyclops. So how do we kill it? We bring it down to three and eat it with the toad. Probably how we're going to do that. Probably how we're going to do that. Well, I probably just want to Regis. Because that matron isn't going to get buffed unless another matron is put there. So if I Regis the smuggler now, because I care about the carryover, right? I'm pushing him, so I Regis here. I will, I should eventually, I need to use Ruiz soon. So Foglet, Bruis, and then I have damage at four. I think we might be, we should be making more points than him at that point. But we are an even, so I just, we push him all the way down, right? We're drawing into stuff like ghouls and stuff. I think, I think this is just a really good situation. We just, Predatory Dive just kind of really created a pot, like a really amazing environment for us. I think. Okay, so now we'll play we'll play Weavis after this. Mm, yeah, I don't think I care about that very much. We'll play this for ten, get another th thrive, another two thrives. It's twelve points. If we play Nagelfar first, we definitely draw the gold, but I kinda wanna draw ghouls and cyclopses, so I think I think that's just what we're gonna do here. I sense your pain. I see your fear. It's a good draw. It's a good draw considering what we're trying to do right now. I mean, oh, boost. I don't have the damage. Well, now I want to play an elf. Now I want to play an elf. Sisters, follow me! Because now I'm going to get, I mean, if I got uh, Whispers, at least I can kill the matron. The odds are good, right? Am I giving him too much of a chance here? I think this is the pass, though. But I don't know for sure. I think maybe I want to play Weavis too. The giant. Return it to me. Oh, lock and thrive. So he asked him he's gonna get three points. So he doesn't okay, at this point it's getting too close, I think, and I'm fine just taking the double assay, I think. It's fine. Or you just need to trim. You need to trim. He finally gets to play as Mahakam Volunteers, or Marauders. So he's gonna get some carry over, he needs it. All right, well, our plays are pretty strong, especially if we can get a unit three to eat. Double ghoul. We do have double griffin, right, in the graveyard? 
I mean, removal, 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 rem like, that's it. We have three removal cards and three thrive cards. It's, it just isn't going to get any better than this. There's too many bad cards. I have too many bad cards in the list. Like, look at, I actually got really lucky in my draws here. I didn't expect a card like that. But that, you know, it didn't really do very well for him, right? So I feel like this is already equivalent to playing a card. So I feel like I truly have double last there. Okay, well, I need something for the Toad to eat, so I think I have to bring the Marauder down to two. Now, if this is the if this is the Francesca list, then we will lose, actually, believe it or not. Okay, we'll at least have this unit to eat. Not even gonna be enough to thrive, unfortunately. Did he just not, he didn't get to do anything, right? I just didn't let him do anything. Is that what's happening right here? Or he's got the nut, he has the nuts of nuts right now. Should have played this first. I was thinking about playing this first, but I lose points either way, right? I think I was getting mixed up about the boost and damage crones at all times in the, at that game. It's a predatory deck, and it's actually preying on strategies right now. <laughs> 